you guys want to see how I got this cool natural hair beehive inspired by the 60s and Amy Winehouse stay tuned so depending on your hair length is going to determine how many ponytails you're going to use to fill up your beehive so let's get started the first thing you're going to do is part your hair in two sections a front section and a back section so and if you want it to be sleek and precisely parted you can obviously use a comb and use any gel or um, control paste but that's not really a concern of mine so I'm not going to use any so I'm just parting it kind of you know just across here and you want your front part to be a bit thicker than your back part your front section I mean so we're gonna take this section and just pin it up so I'm going to show you two options so if you have shorter hair you're gonna use two hair ties and what you're gonna do is make two little ponytails but since my hair is of a longer length and it's really thick as you can see um, I'm only going to do one ponytail. So you want to make sure that your hair is as stretched as possible. And depending on the look you want, I want mine to be kind of textured still, but of course you can flat iron or if your hair is naturally straight, you can keep on doing what you're doing. So I'm just going to take this one hair tie and take this back section and smooth it out as much as I can with my hand and pull it into a ponytail to where I want the beehive to be. So I kind of want my beehive to sit right here on top of my head. So I'm just going to put the ponytail, you can see, around once. And then I'm going to take it around again. And this time, I'm not going to pull the hair all the way through. I'm going to do it. See here, I have the ponytail holder. I'm just going to pull it halfway through until I got the end. And it's still here. I'm just going to hold those ends like that. And I can stick my thumbs inside the makeshift bun. And I'm going to fan it out like this. I mean, it's kind of already in the beehive shape. So this is what's going to shape your beehive. And if you don't have enough hair, of course, you can use extensions, your own hair, and or your own hair, or a weave and braid type hair to stuff in here. So there's your base. Now we're going to take the front out. And I like to have a little part and it jazzes up. So it jazzes up the style. So I just already naturally have a part here where I usually put it. So you just can make your own part. It can be straight if you want, it doesn't have to be. And then I like to have an extra section out in the front. And if you want this to be straight, of course, just use a comb. I don't particularly care about that. Okay. So you're going to leave this section down, just put it behind my ear for now. And that hair that you have left over, you're going to take it and put it over top of, you're going to pull it a little top so that it's smooth. And you're going to pull it over top and stuff that hair. If you can see, I'm stuffing this hair inside and kind of pushing it down, smoothing it out, folding it over smoothing it out smoothing out my ends and all I have to do is just twirl this hair twirl it and tuck it under I hope I'm in frame tuck it under and now you're gonna get your bobby pins and start pinning it down however you want it to make sure that hair doesn't come out in the back so I'm just gonna take this piece here and pin it down Let's see in the back or you could tuck that piece under your ponytail holder that's probably best if you can get it to do that but just pinning as I go now I don't really care about any specific design in the back you can add accessories back there it's kind of up to you so so far I used three Pins. And then you want to go up and just neaten it up however you want it to look. So you're going to take that front piece and just 
clump it up as high as you want it, high to the sky. The bigger the hair, the closer to God. So you just take this and I twist the ends, twist, twist, twist. As you can see, I'm pumping it up as I twist. And then I'm taking this piece and tucking it behind and I'm going to pin it down. And then take this piece so it doesn't stick up. Oh, that's a little, another bobby pin. Pin it down. And of course, if you want to make it sleeker, you can use more bobby pins. Let's see if I can make it a little more. Lay it down a little more on the sides. And it's just a quick and easy updo. And then I have this little hair tie that you can use really to make it look super vintage, super Amy, super 1960s. Hair tie. And there you have it, girls. 